It's the final week of preseason training before the Wildcats open their season in San Diego, California against UC San Diego. The Tritons enter the season as the number 10 ranked program in Division II women's soccer and are 1-0 on the year after dropping Point Loma 3-0 on Thursday night. If that's not enough, Central then heads to San Bernardino to take on the Coyotes in the sweltering California heat. Monday's game time was forced up to 8 a.m. due to extreme heat as temperatures topped 110 during the mid-mornings. Behind the Sea bringing you an inside look at Central Washington Athletics. The week's training saw more focus on executing against specific opponents and situations rather than the technical-based training from the previous two weeks. We started out doing a lot of technical 1v1s, just like passing, like the typical like soccer basics that you need. And now we're doing more like team building and the way that we play, the closing patterns, passing patterns. Mm -hmm. So it's more just like gearing up for games now versus like getting your touch back and like getting back into the group. So it's been a lot more focused on UCSD and San Bernardino especially and like how we're going to play against them with the closing patterns against them. So it's just been a lot more focused this last week especially. And it came really fast too, you know, it, these two weeks go by so fast that it's, you have a lot to cram in there to get ready for these games or, you know, we're, you got to be ready for it. So having that second week really realizing like, all right, we got to focus. We did set pieces, we did our corners, we had the girls step up that we need to and really learn and focus in. So I think this second week was very, you know, be there, be in, and be yeah. ready. The Wildcats took on UCSD last season in Ellensburg, but a penalty goal and an overtime winner from the Tritons handed the Wildcats their first loss in 2016. I think this year it's a little different, just the fact that we have experience playing them, and I think that we have more of a starting lineup that has played against them. I don't think they've played them as recently last year. So just like knowing them and knowing that they have pretty much their whole starting lineup, I think it'll be helpful and we obviously have higher standards because we should have like kept in that game more last year. Yeah I definitely agree with that. I think that you know going into overtime with them and just how hard we fought you know giving up those goals was really tough because we were in that game and we had such a good start to our our preseason that you know those games counted for us the whole year. Last year when we played them it was such a battle um, all the way through and I mean unfortunately we lost that game but this year we definitely have a lot to prove going down there I mean it's always nice when you get that home field advantage and since we won't get that um, I mean it's gonna be tough it's gonna be a battle right from the beginning and uh, like coach said they're returning almost their whole starting lineup and for us we've lost a big part of our starting lineup so definitely utilizing everyone and going out there it's going to be it's going to be a hard game but i think yeah. we're ready even with the heat of california the team believes they are up to the challenge they've battled heat and poor air quality in ellensburg during the past weeks even being forced into the field house to practice definitely think so it's i was here all summer and honestly with the smoke sitting in here running every day the heat still is just, you know, both of them are such huge factors that, like, when everyone came into camp, it was, like, a lot of the freshmen don't realize, like, if they were running inside back on the west side or even the temperature difference coming over here with the heat and the smoke is a huge mm -hmm. change. So I think that that has gotten a lot of us prepared for it. And, you know, our three-a-days out there every single day, you know, two-hour practice blocks, you know, just grinding it out, I think it has really helped and prepared us for – the battle that's going to be on Monday with not only who we're playing but what we're playing in and our environment. I think also coach's mentality of like the no complaints like well we're going to be in this and worse so we might as well get used to it now um, and you can't like the weather you can't control the weather so you're going to play and if it's hot or not so you kind of just have to stick through it and I think we'll be even at 8 a.m. time we'll be good mm -hmm. yeah it'll definitely help though yeah Going down there, um, we'll know what to expect and hopefully, I mean, the girls have already played in the scrimmage and the heat and like they were able to go through a whole 90 minute game. So I think I does. I think it helps. To escape the heat and have a little fun, 
The Wildcats headed down to Yakima for an afternoon of team bowling before their final day of practice. <laughs>